Americans comprise less than 5% of the world's population. Yet, we suck up 33% of the world's resources. And we can breed as many rugrats as we want. Hey, it's a free country. We don't even have to be able to feed them. If you can't keep the little fuckers alive, the government will do it for you. My tax dollars, your tax dollars, pay breeders to stay home and make more breeders. And research towards the cure of an epidemic goes unfunded because the people dying from it sucked too much cock. Guess why the governor of Mississippi refused state funding to AIDS research clinics? This is a good one. He said it was a behaviorally caused disease and normal taxpayers shouldn't have to foot the bill. Why waste good American money on faggot germs? So, I wrote to my legislators and said I wanted a refund of all my tax dollars that went toward research on birth defects, fertility drugs, miscarriage, anything related to the production of the healthy human fetus. I figured since pregnancy is a behaviorally caused disease whose morality or lack thereof I deplore, I shouldn't have to finance the disgusting problems of breeders. And guess what? I got fucked, fucked, fucked. Goddamn right, I got fucked. You got fucked. Anybody who ever got fucked, got fucked. You tested negative last week? Congratulations. You don't have to worry about it again for at least six months. Doesn't that just take a load off your mind? Doesn't that just gladden your heart? Dr. David Acer, leering fag demon menacing home, family, and America with a dripping syringe full of his own foul juices. Nobody would say he did the right thing, not when they first thought about it. But think about it. Imagine him standing there, staring down some breeder bimbo sticky little throat, replaying in his head her idiotic chit-chat with the hygienist, realizing that in a year or two, he'll be dead, and this cunt will be squatting out her third kid, and society will adore her as fertility goddess, pillar of blandness, role model, even as he rots in a pariah's grave, and just try to imagine. How the hypo of Novocaine, and the hypo that just happens to be full of his blood, might get mixed up. Call it AIDS dementia if it makes you feel better. I'm Lush Rimbaud, and that's it for tonight. I'll be taking calls on next week's show, same time, whatever frequency we can get, so listen up. Unless, of course, one of us is dead by next week, or you are. And we all could be. And they don't give a fuck. Thank you, and good night.